When you purchase a high pressure control valve for a pressure regulating application, you need several other components to make the valve fully functional. When you order from us, we'll help you spec in your package and it'll be delivered to you fully assembled and ready to install. However, if you purchase these parts individually, this video will help you know how to complete the assembly. I'm Kyle, and today I'll be showing you how to assemble a high pressure control valve package for pressure regulation. Before you get started, you'll want to put on your appropriate PPE and be sure to follow all of your company's safety requirements. The components of this package include the valve, a sense line protector to block out the sensed pressure to a device when it exceeds the adjustable limit, a drip pot to knock out any liquids in your supply gas, a supply gas regulator to provide supply pressure to the pilot, and a pilot which is responsible for telling the valve what to do. Depending on how you choose to arrange the components, the number of elbow and straight connectors will vary, but you'll need at least eight quarter inch by three eighths inch tubing connectors, two quarter inch nipples, a high pressure quarter inch T connector, approximately seven feet of three eighths inch tubing, and Loctite. Finally, to put the package together, you'll need the following tools. A vise, tubing benders, tubing cutters, a half, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, and 11 sixteenths inch wrench, channel locks, and a crescent wrench. The way I'll be building this package will have all the components closer together and facing the front of the valve on the upstream side. We'll be using less tubing this way and avoid creating areas where someone may try to lift it by the tubing. The first step is to thread the needle valve into the bottom of the drip pot. Then connect the supply gas regulator to the drip pot with a quarter inch nipple and Loctite. Now, mount the valve body in a vise. Pressure reducing valves need to be fail closed. Since this is the standard configuration, there's no need to change the top works of this package. Remove a bolt from the bonnet on the upstream side of the valve and attach the drip pot and supply gas regulator on the valve. Then attach tubing connectors to the upstream port of the valve and the inlet of the drip pot. Bend, cut, and install the tubing. Install the pilot near the drip pot. Remove two bonnet bolts and attach the bracket included on the pilot. Attach the pressure gauge to the top of the T. Install the outlet of the sense line protector to the T with a nipple. Attach a tubing connector to the inlet of the sense line protector and one to the downstream port of the valve.
Cut, bend, and install the tubing to connect these. Next, attach tubing connectors on the outlet of the supply gas regulator and on the supply gas filter of the pilot. Cut and install the tubing to connect these. The supply gas regulator cuts down the supply gas to the required 30 psi of the pilot. This is preset so you won't have to adjust it. Attach tubing connectors to both the output of the pilot and the bottom of the valve bonnet. Cut, bend, and install the tubing to connect these. Finish by installing a pressure gauge on the supply gas regulator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or call your nearest Kimray store or distributor. We can answer your questions or set up in-person training sessions and demos for you or your whole team. You may be using a high pressure pilot instead of a 30 HPG. For this configuration, the assembly will be the same, but the tubing lengths and angles will look different.